It was a sunny calm day when Sakamaki Izano was lying on the herb. By coincidence, he saw three guys bullying students so he decided to enjoy as well and started throwing fire rocks on them. When they ran away, he received a letter from the sky. At the same time, Kuro Azuka and Kaskabi Yu received one as well. It was sort of an invitation to another world, where they would be able to express their superpowers. When they arrived, they met a girl who was hiding between the trees. They made her come out and she presented herself as the Black Rabbit and explained the reason behind their presence in that place. They were invited to participate in a competition of a special garden, just like all the extraordinary people in their age. The garden was perfectly made for this, and the gifts at the end of each game varies between money, gifts, resources, and even even humans. She added one condition which says that in order to win the game they should listen carefully to what the host says, knowing that the battles may be dangerous and lead to death so there was no chance to use luck instead of hard work. The participants inside the game were divided into groups. The Black Rabbit invited those three players to join her team. As they accepted, she showed them a contract which had the main condition and rules. The Rabbit took the three players to meet the chief, but when they arrived, she found out that Sakamaki left the group and went to discover more places. So she had to look for him while the little chief took the girls to discover the city and to know more details about their goals. The Rabbit found him finally, but involved in a fight with one of the kings and he showed high resistance with a great power and he won the fight as the first human ever to defeat a king. The award he got after that was a special tree which could supply water, but then he forced the black rabbit to tell him the reason behind summoning them to play this game out of nowhere. On the other side, when the two girls were sitting in a restaurant with a chief, another group leader named Gaspar Gallo interrupted their conversation and tried to convince them to join his group. It appeared later that the rabbit and the chief had one of the most powerful groups, but one day they had to face a terrorist attack where they lost all their members and fortunes and became the weakest group. The strongest one was led by Galdo, and when he went too far with his words, the two girls made him confess all what he did to reach the power he was enjoying at that time, and then they invited him to a fight. In order to get more help with that, the Black Rabbit took them all to meet Shiroyashi, who presented herself as one of the strongest hosts of the game. She arrived to the fourth level, leading one of the biggest groups. The description impressed the players, and then she decided to test their powers in her word. She summoned a white bird, and the one who would ride it safely all around the world without falling would win. Kaskabi accepted the challenge. She bet her life that she will make it as she was so talented in talking with animals, and she succeeded. They got all their gifts, and they proved how powerful they were. After that, they went to visit Jin's deserted city, where they planted the tree which Sakamaki gained from his first battle. The life came back as the water was so fresh and available due to the magical tree. At night, a group of Galdo soldiers were spying on the castle when Sakamaki surprised them. They revealed their hate to their leader and the fact that he used them to achieve some personal goals. The boy promised them that he will take revenge of all what Galdo did and that Jin Russell will participate as well. It was clear that they were impulsive but they were aiming at making a name of their group as it was one of the weakest and it has no reputation. They gathered after that to make a plan about the next battle and Sakamaki promised that he would leave the group if they lost. The game they were playing next was located in a dark city where one of the most powerful devils lived. The goal was to kill that demon and the condition was to use any sort of weapons. The two girls and Jin started walking around until they found a castle. They felt the presence of something inside and they decided to check it out. At the entry, they faced the furious tigress, which appeared later that it was Galdo. Kasukabi tried to kill him on her own. But she got badly injured, so Asuka took things in charge and she ended the game by taking his life using a sword just as the rules say. All Galdo's soldiers appreciated what the group did and Jin gained back his reputation and the flag which belonged to him and earned their respect and loyalty. At that time, Leticia was watching his small victory. Kasukabi was getting the treatment she needed. While Sakamaki was having a conversation with the rabbit, he realized that the demon herself was spying on them. Just when the rabbit left to prepare some tea, he asked her to show herself. Indeed, she entered the room and started her attack aggressively. All the members heard the noise when Sakamaki almost started fighting back. The rabbit stopped him and revealed that the girl was their friend, a vampire and the old demon queen. She revealed that she helped Galdo just in order to test their powers and she came back because she finally had hope about recreating the old group. She challenged Sakamaki to know the level of his power in a fight outside, but the red light interrupted and petrified her. The soldiers revealed that Leticia believed to their group but the rabbit didn't accept to let them get away with that. Sakamaki, Asuka and the black rabbit decide to negotiate with Leia's crew in order to bring the vampire back to their team but they didn't come out with a good deal. The other side suggested to give them what they wanted but under one condition which was to take the rabbit as a slave and gave them one week to think about this suggestion. While the girls were trying to figure out a fair solution, Sakamaki was fighting other monsters to get more gifts which would help them. 
When he came back, he surprised the girls with his achievement and they all realized the possibility of having a fight with Leos in a game instead of exchanging. As usual, they took a look on the rules and they entered the gate. The condition this time says whoever wanted to face Leos, he must keep himself hidden until he arrives to the ring. The group knew about the abilities of the enemy and his skills in addition to their number, so they made a good plan and they start moving. They passed through all the soldiers until they arrived to Leos, who revealed that he will not participate. Instead, he summoned a demon called Al Gold to fight. The creature had a great powers and he could petrify them, but Sakamaki shocked them all when he won. Leos felt so angry and started attacking as well, but it was losing game and they could take back their friend Leticia and they celebrated their victory all together. And the next morning, when they woke up, they heard about big festival in the northern side. So they decided to go even when the place was so far. After studying the situation, they realized the trip was so expensive and found themselves obliged to ask for help from Shurayashi or start explaining the details of the festival and what they were going to find there. She added also she was invited as a special guest and due to her transportation ability, she could take them to their destination in an eye blink without telling the black rabbit. All the players were there and while they were enjoying their time, the rabbit took them all and promised that she will punish them for leaving her and going without per and going without permission. She could call them except Sakamaki who ran away and ask her to play a game. If he won, he will do whatever he wants, but if he lose, then he will spend the rest of his life in working for the group. The game stood on throwing a coin and the winner is the one who catch it first. And somehow it ended up by a draw. At that moment, the group of the salamanders arrived. The festival got started and the battle as well. The goal of every group was to reach the finals. On the other side, Jin and his team went to see the Queen Sandora, who once was their friend. They talked about the mess which happened and also the rumors about an attack which will be made by the Demon King on their land, so they decided to be careful and to make a good plan. Meanwhile, Asuka was discovering the city with her new shiny friend. She stopped in a huge statue when suddenly all the light turned off and thousands of rats started attacking her. The gift she had of controlling the others didn't work at that moment, but luckily her friend Leticia came and saved the situation. The team gathered at night to discuss their position in the next battles and to study their moves in order to reach the finals. Kasukabi was the first one to play. Her adversary was one of the strongest. She kept running away, but that didn't help and she had to give up. Suddenly, some black papers start falling from the sky. They contained some instructions and orders to kill themselves in order to survive. It was clear that the Demon King came to take his part of joy. People freaked out why Sakamaki and his friends start fighting back. It was a battle of high level where they faced a demon called Pest Demon and her servant Raiden and Wezer. People start losing their minds and doing what the black papers said, while the girl with the red dress ended up by passing out. Suddenly, the Black Rabbit announced the end of the game temporary and summoned all the players to the negotiating board. During the battles, a cheating attempt was detected and obliged all the players to stop fighting until they got an answer from the system, allowing them to continue. While they were talking in the meeting, they realized that Pest was spreading a deadly epidemic between the players, and she set her own conditions if they wanted to save the rest of the people. She wanted all the players to join her group or she will kill them. Asuka was passed out in a cave and her little friend woke her up. The lights told her everything about the history of Pest and her team. At the same time, Sekamaki figured out the secret behind the power of the attack. After resuming the game, it was clear that people knew the secret and they start looking for the colored glass and destroying it. When the fight reached a high level, Asuka came back with a statue she once found while she was discovering. Every player chose his adversary. Sakamaki fought with Wezer, and during that, he explained all the process and revealed their plans. It was so impressive, but he added that he had more goals to reach than joining a demon group. Asuka faced Raiden. They both used their beasts, but the servant lost and she was allowed to use her magical flute one last time to create a musical composition. While the queen and black rabbit had to face the leader of the demons, Pest, who started explaining her reasons behind starting the attack. Sakamaki and Asuka won their battles and joined the black rabbit to stop the last demon from killing people using a red toxic gas. She was playing on her stage and no one could stop her, so they decided to take her to another city in the moon where she will face the sunlight. She was a vampire, she couldn't have handle it and the other players took advantage of her situation to kill her. The game got finished and things went back to track. Nothing of that would happen without the great teamwork they all have done. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you with a new anime series. Until then, take care.